my basic game plan today is to explore some local areas today uh, some spots that I haven't really checked out in depth much and see if there's anything going on there and also I'm keeping an eye out for a few plants that I'm collecting for uh, medicinal use um, in particular I'd like to find uh, some jojoba uh, brittle bush and Mormon tea All right, here's the jojoba plant. It's got these little uh, ovaly leaves. And uh, later in the summer, there it grows kind of like a nut-looking thing. And I talked about that in one of my other videos. It's not really the most edible nut, but you can uh, roast it and eat it if you, um, if you want. But it doesn't uh, digest very well. But I'm going to collect some of these uh, leaves here. They can be used for um, like minor cuts and burns and rashes even and also um, even uh, treat uh, like sore throats and even diarrhea, just all depending on how you, uh, how you prepare it. I was able to collect some uh, jojoba, and so now I'm gonna head out of here. I can't find any brittle bush that's, uh, um, that's healthy enough to actually collect. So I'm gonna move on to a different area. And this area is kind of trash too. I think it gets a lot of human traffic. Um, and it's just, uh, it's kind of close to the road. So I'm going to go somewhere a little further out and uh, try to get some brittle bush and, and also uh, Mormon tea. See if I can get some of that too. So this, uh, according to the sign at the trailhead, is a part of a trail that goes from Canada to Mexico. And that's kind of cool. I don't think I'll be ending up in either place today, but um, and I don't really like these trails because they're pretty close to the road. Um, it's frequented by vehicles and stuff. I usually like kind of being more out in the back country more, but I'm gonna check it out. So this is one of the uh, Salt River wild horses right out there. I'm not gonna get any closer than this because I don't wanna um, spook him and get him out of his shade area that he's got right now. So pretty cool creatures though. Got some wildness in them still. So I still haven't found any of that brittle bush that's uh healthy enough to um, to collect. It's all pretty dried up right now. Mormon tea, I, don't, I haven't seen any. I've, I keep my eye out for it, but it's uh, that one's a little less frequent, so um, I'll just have to keep watching for that. But I'm chilling in the shade right now because uh, the sun's right up overhead. It's pretty hot, and um, so I'm just taking some opportunities every now and then to chill in the shade, um, conserve my water levels. It's a nice tree though. It's doing its job. Well done tree. I found that brittle bush I was looking for, but it's actually, um, but it's a little bit dry. Uh, and it's the only one around here. So I'm going to see if I can find a place where there's a few more um, before I collect any. What this is, this is my brittle bush. Uh, these one I haven't used this one for like a uh, hay fever, aller seasonal allergy kind of things, but um, there's supposed to be some benefit to it for that. So I'm uh, curious to try that out. Uh, that mixed with the Mormon tea because that also has some potential to help with um, those seasonal allergies. So keep looking around, see if I can find some more of that. And I also up here found my first first Ocotillo plant I've seen on this whole trail. Uh, well, some of my videos I've done are up just a little bit, like a couple thousand feet higher in elevation and up in some rocky areas and that's where these Ocotillos love to hang out. But um, this is the first one that I found. I don't even see any more around here. I think this is my desert spirit plant. Is that a thing, like a spirit animal? But a spirit plant. I don't know. But if it is, 
spirit spirit plant going with it but i'm heading back to the trailhead now i'm going to move on to a different location not sure exactly where yet but figure that out soon i was able to find some brittle bush so i um collected a little bit of that i'm going to try that out this season for uh to see how effective it is for uh, seasonal allergies kind of hay fever kind of thing and uh yeah, still haven't found any of the Mormon tea that I was looking for, but um, maybe in the next spot that I go, I will find some. All right, I'm back on the road again, uh, heading a little bit north of where I was to see if I can find uh, one more place to wander and explore and hopefully find that uh, Mormon tea stuff I was looking for. That's the um, only plant on my list for today that I haven't found. That brittle bush that I was searching everywhere for before is growing all over on the side of this road. Um, but it was scarce where I was a second ago. So, just looking for a spot to pull off somewhere. Somewhere where there's some land I can wander on. Alright, I'm going to explore here in this area. This is another one of those off-road trails. Uh, it's near Four Peaks Wilderness. Um, I'm going to check this area out a little bit. Uh, look for Mormon tea, but I'm not sure if it grows out in this area, but I got some yucca. I love yucca. Yucca is awesome. <laughs> you can make fiber. You can make, this is what uh, sandals are made of. Sam sandals of champions. I decided to ditch that place a little early. Um, it was, it was kind of like the last spot I went to uh, where I'd, in order to get away from the trash and all the stuff like that then I'd have to go in a little further and I don't have time for that and I don't have uh, enough water to support that so um, I'm going to try to hit up another spot at a different elevation point where I'm hoping to be able to collect some of that Mormon tea I'm looking for. Um, so that is the game plan. But this place is cool. I'll probably come back here and explore more when I have more time. Um, go in a little ways and then maybe ditch the road and, and wander in on my own a little further. Alright, this is my last spot I'm going to check for the Mormon tea. Um, hopefully I find some because I'm almost out of water. So I found some Mormon tea, but it's obviously really dry, so that's not going to work. But the fact that I found some in this area is promising, so let's look around a little more. All right, so I was able to find all three things I was looking for. I kind of had a dual purpose today, partly to find those different medicinal plants and collect them but then also to uh, explore some of these new areas um, in my last video I went up north went a little further explored some areas up there today I was kind of did something similar I went to some new spots that I haven't been and explored them but I did it um, but these were all local areas uh, stuff close by because um, I found that a lot of times there's stuff right around the corner from where we're at that um, that has awesomeness in it and we just uh, we just drive past it all the time so it's always worth checking those places out and seeing what's around us because um, because it's there um, you just got to look for it you got to be wanting to look for it kind of thing so not that there's anything wrong with going to the far away awesome places either that, that's good stuff too but uh, it's just not as uh, logistically possible all the time so it's worth checking out the places that are close that's all i'm saying all right thanks for watching